How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another car mechanic simulator video. And guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a new mod that just came out, I think probably about a week ago, something like that. I've been struggling recently to find it in the junkyard and finally, after probably about 20 plus trips, I found it. And I actually found a couple other things too. Some other things that are hidden around here. There's one there, there's one in, I think over there, they were parking or some, something like that. But uh, we have got a car from, if you guys know the game, everybody knows the game, I guess, but you've played it. This is the VTEC Quadra from Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, the Quadra VTEC. Um, this is like, I know, I remember I've seen this one in the game. It's like a super, super, super expensive car. Um, super, super good though, obviously. Uh, looks like this one's rocking a V8 Twin Turbo. Um, I think in the game, it's probably like, I think it's probably electric now I think about it probably but ours it happens to be gas powered so we are gonna run with that what is this a German German plate something like that um, but yeah there's a ton of really 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 cool stuff on here uh, this mod alone looks incredible the body styling on this thing is pretty spot-on interior also pretty spot we hop around interior also pretty spot on um just super super cool so let's just get into it i think we want to start with uh probably getting the motor out and then i'm going to be taking a look at all the body pieces and everything that come with this because it's 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 a mod so it's got a ton of extra custom like a one-off things for this one alone uh yeah here, give me a second i'm gonna drop the motor out and get the transmission out and then i'll see you guys back here all right, so I got the rear rear wheel drive motor out here. This thing is, I don't, ooh, maybe it is. No, it's just rear wheel drive, okay. So I got that out of there and oddly enough, there was no transmission. I'm sure the transmission was probably, yeah, it was probably missing out of there. Um, so when we go back in later to put everything back together, we'll, we'll hopefully have to be able, be able to put one in. Let me see if I can get I get to the engine from here. Ooh, we gotta be under the car. All right, that's all right. All right, well, I'm gonna start popping off all these pieces. Let me get this out of here. All these extra pieces that we don't need. I think there's a decent amount on here. Like I said, this is a crazy one-off mod here. It's got a lot of really cool stuff on it. I wonder if I do the interior detailing, if it's gonna clean this up. And the dash to yeah probably I mean rear fender let's see what else comes off tail light looks pretty sweet the whole engine cover is basically the fake suspension let's see what else anything else on here four percent global front window and window back rear window body window front window yeah this thing was in some rough shape okay one percent global condition that's what we wanted to see so we'll get the front left fender front left fender trunk and hood okay i'll just remember that now trunk front left fender hood and rear left fender right Oh, sweet. I'm so excited to see this thing fully put back together with the paint scheme on it. I think it's going to look absolutely incredible. I'm super, super excited. Let's see. What can we do here? What do we do? Just do quad, quadra? Oh, okay. Oh, we got different options here. Dang. All right. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of options. I was expecting it just to be one solid thing, but the mod maker really went all out on this one. Okay, this is done by Lit, by the way, guys. The same guy who does a ton of the crazy ones. Um, we'll just buy all of our windows. I want to do the steel um, clamshell here. I honestly have no idea where this is supposed to be. The front clamshell. Uh, oh, this is the wheel, right? It's got to be the wheel. Um, front bumper. We'll go with the darker one. 
front end. See? Maybe do the darker one here. Uh, front door, front door, front door. I'm gonna go door B's. I already got the door windows. And then I want this to be the white version. That means that it'll take the paint scheme and actually apply it to the uh, extra cutouts on the fenders, which is what I want. And do I have the front window? I don't. Okay, so I got the front window. Already got our body windows. Left headlights. Let's keep it like this. Let me get the other one here. The left tail light. I think we already have our. Oh, we weren't able to repair our tail lights. Actually, let me get this. Then the bumpers. Ooh, there's a lot of options here on these. We're gonna go see. The rear clamshell, okay. Uh, we'll go with the stock one. The rear left fender, we have this one. Rear right fender. We already got our trunk. Okay, I think we got most of the stuff here. So give me this fender. Let me put on a... Yeah, let me put on a clear one. Is this one... Ah, that one's also one of the ones that are all blacked out. We want to be able to see the paint scheme on it, which is why I'm going through and changing these. Dang it. I'm trying to change these up, at least. Get the door on while we're sitting here. Ah. Okay, there we go. Get our front and clamshell. Looking for that other weird, weird, weird looking one. Throw on that. I guess we'll just throw all this on over here. Our window. This. Mirrors look pretty cool. We need the left side mirror. That's right side. Give me left. Our body windows. I'm really excited to see what this thing actually looks like in the paint shop. You know, we'll have to remember to copy the same wheel offsets and everything. Ooh, that's a little bit of a little bit of some weird headlights there, but all right, all right. Uh, this body window. Where are we at? Like 92, which means we're probably missing more than one license plates. All right, so just plates. All right, I think I got a good idea for the plates. So Night City is what this thing comes from. Let me see, 2077, maybe plates, no. Uh, let's do, I'm trying to think. No, let's go all, we'll see, see if I can find some crazy colorful plates. Hey, Red Dot City looks pretty good actually. And we're just gonna go with V. Yes, okay, yeah, because the main character's name is V. Awesome. So, this is what we still have from the original body. Also, I forgot, we didn't even do the welding kit on it or anything, because it just looks, looks pretty good as is. All right, time to make this thing shine. So, the inside, just remember that it's got all the little grimy spots on it. All the seats and everything. Let's see what happens when we hit it with this. All right, not much actually changed. So let's see what happens when we hit it with this. Wham. Okay, I guess that's just the interior designing. Hmm. Make sure we got everything under the hood done. I do think we do. Hop into the trunk here. Nope, looks good. All right. Send her off the paint. Probably should have checked it to see how it's doing, but 100, 100, awesome. All right, so this thing is looking really good so far. But let's see what it looks like with the actual paint library. <clears throat> okay, so we got 
We got that 2077 Ferrari livery. Okay, okay. We have... I think the one that we were going to have on here when we bought the car. The car had this on there. It had the Arasaka, like, ninja livery on there. We got... I think it was... the Yeah, this is like the stock paint library i do believe we have another one on here pretty cool pretty cool it went through a lot of work to make this car five okay what do we got now we got another arasaka racing quadra racing there's a ton you can do another one who is this by is this supposed to be like a ford looking one I got the blacked out uh, front license plate, I just realized. So you don't really see some of the stripes and everything. Or not front license plate, jeez. Hood. So you don't see some stuff, but that's all right. So let me go back to blank, right? Okay. Well, let me pop this hood off really quick. I'm going to go purchase the non-blacked out hood. I want to be able to see the libraries on the top. Quadra VTEC hood. Okay. All right. I got to admit, this Ferrari one, pretty cool. Like, I'm thinking, like, cyberpunky 80s-esque. Like, this is definitely something that would have been cool. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, and this is, like, the Ford-looking one. Yeah. Um, We will go with... Should I go with the purple? Or should I go with the stock? I feel like that stock one doesn't show it off enough. You know what? We're going to go with the purple. Yep. All right. There she is. All we got to do now is get these rims so witched out. I'm going to go with some crazy, crazy rims here because we can't just be sticking to something normal. All right, get you up in the air. We gotta pop off both the fronts and rears. Are they different? They have, they have different wheels, actually. Pop off the other side. And also, we're probably looking for these to be about, like, a, this to be like a 1500 horsepower car. It's gonna be pretty, uh, pretty wild here so let's see let me grab a sticky note and write this down because we're gonna have separate sizes and offsets and everything for each different side between the fronts and the rears here so we got 425 massive massive tires and they're only 17 so they're thick but they are not very so they're, they're super wide, but they're not very large rims. And then these ones. Okay, and then these ones were... What do we got? 17s also, but about 100 less of thickness. Th 35 also. Dang, okay. So let's find some crazy wheels. You know, since this has got the, since this has got the ninja on it. Let me see here. We'll go left side, right side. Yeah, left side and then right side. So then you can have wheels spinning different ways. So one of these is 17. Actually, no, two of them. And then two of these at 17. And then for the tire shop, you can just do what we need to do. Uh, we'll do... We'll do slicks. I gotta do slicks because we're gonna take this on the drag ship and it's gonna be... It's gonna be, like, insanely fast. I can just tell her now. So 425 is gonna be our first starting width. 425 with a 30 profile. Yep. Then our next one... 325 with a 35 profile. All right, yes, sir. 
about 10 grand in tires alone there actually and i'll leave the uh original paint on here yeah yeah i think these tires will look pretty good look at how thick that tire is that is actually nuts does it even get contained inside that oh yeah it does that's that's so so crazy Alrighty. So he finishes up. And then this one will be finishing up and be done. Check. Alright, really quick, we're gonna pop the door off this bad boy. Um Looks like there's nothing I have to do for interior, which is actually kinda nice. Makes my job a little bit easier. Done there. Pop back out. Come on. Alright, so we got the two rears done, which I'm gonna wait to put these on because I want to uh, redo the suspension. I guess actually I'll put one side on. I'll show you guys one full side on, uh, just so you can get like what's gonna be happening with these. Okay, so these are gonna be to the right. So we'll do the left side. All right, so we're gonna want 325s. Oh no! I think I mounted the wrong side. Yeah. Uh, I think this one's correct. The rear one I think is correct. Yeah. Dang. Yep, I gotta swap this out really quick. Come here. I gotta swap the 425 with a 325 real quick. Alright, I'm gonna swap these out and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, I ended up putting on both sides of tires and wheels just to make sure I had everything correct. Looks like I do. We got this side going forward. You know, was, my whole thing was to kind of go with like the ninja, like throwing star look. So, throw them and they go forward. So this would be rotating like that. Same with this side, and then since we have the opposite flipped wheel on this side, same thing, rotating, going forward to the left, and same with this one in the rear. I like it a lot. I think it looks uh, pretty clean. Uh, matches the aesthetic of the car pretty good. I can actually drop this on the ground now and make her into a roller. Sits quite low all around, probably like three four inches up on the front obviously a little bit more on the back but exhaust is looking pretty gnarly looks like it's like a trying to make it look like a twin turbo setup which it does but it's on the uh, motor over here which we haven't quite done yet but there we go hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and comment down below in the next episode we're gonna be going through and actually test and see how fast this thing is once we get the motor done um i'll get the suspension braking everything done and we'll have a fully working uh quadra vtech lit edition from cyberpunk 2077 and oh my gosh look how much this thing is worth the global parts are like absolutely terrible 15 percent but this thing is worth 1.3 million bucks already actually incredible probably be about 2 million actually by the time we're done at least fingers crossed that's what the hopes are i think it definitely should be pretty close to 2 million or maybe 1.7 but there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know if you guys play have played Cyberpunk 2077 yet. I have. Um, it's a pretty fun game. You know, just it was pretty fun. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what you guys think of this car in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video. See ya!